TikTok made a trend, which was fun and exciting, and I was having fun with it. And then the media got a hold of it, and then disordered eating TikTok got a hold of it, and now it's not fun anymore. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda. You're watching Small Entertainment, and today we are talking about girl dinner, girl dinner trend on TikTok. And um, originally, when I was going to make this video, um, it was entirely just going to be like, the media is being uh, really annoying about this. It's not that deep. And then I spent a little more time looking through the actual girl dinner tag and found a lot more. And I was like, okay. So clearly what was happening was that because of the nature of TikTok and because of how widespread the content on TikTok was, I was not getting the disordered eating side of the girl dinner trend. I was getting the fun girl dinner side, which sounds annoying. I was getting the other side. And so I was like, I don't think this is disordered eating. I think it's just like chaotic eating. But really quick, let me tell you about the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Do you wanna make a website like smallentertainment.com? Then Squarespace is the place for you. Whether you're looking to start from scratch or make the transition over, Squarespace makes it super easy for you. With flexible website templates, the ability to run email campaigns, showcase your posts or work, and online store capabilities, Squarespace can help you build the website that's perfect for everything that you need. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash smallentertainment to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, that's Squarespace dot com slash swell entertainment and thank you to squarespace for sponsoring this video as you can tell from the intro i'm going to talk about a sensitive topic so if you are uncomfortable with that if you don't think you can handle it totally understandable click off have a nice day go watch something more fun. I do find this trend fun, so I wanna make that very clear going into this, but I wanna talk about basically everything surrounding girl dinner because I do think it's possible for two different styles of a trend to happen and for there to be a branch off of a trend. And I think we see this a lot on TikTok, especially with the, how fast the trend cycle goes. And so I wanted to talk about this because I love girl dinner and I I, I have girl lunch a lot. If you guys uh, follow me on Instagram at lovey 2 golka you'll see that I occasionally post when I'm out and about running errands, I go and do girl lunch. For me, girl lunch is I go to a restaurant and I just order a bunch of appetizers or sides and that's my girl lunch. I don't get like a main entree. I get a bunch of different things and then that's my girl lunch. <laughs> That's what I enjoy. That's fun for me. And I've definitely had girl dinner before. I think everyone has had girl dinner. Let's talk about girl dinner in its inception. So I believe there was an initial girl dinner video before the girl dinner song girl dinner video. I cannot find the TikTok right now, but a girl just came on here and said how like in medieval times, peasants had to eat nothing but bread and cheese and how awful that was. And she was like, that's my ideal meal. This is my dinner. I call this girl dinner. Basically, girl dinner is just like the lazy meal, okay? I've made too many decisions today. The last thing I wanna think about is what I'm gonna eat for dinner, and let alone making dinner. I don't wanna order it, so I'm just gonna eat whatever I have available. So that could be crackers, snack foods, it could be just a peanut butter sandwich with a handful of Cheerios and some carrots. You know, it's just like snacky foods. I put this up here because this is what it initially made me think of uh, was like kids homemade lunchable trays. And then there was this song from at Karma Pilled. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl 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 dinner. Tiddly, silly you. Silly girl. <laughs> Do I actually think that she ate an ice cream for dinner? Not necessarily. I think it was just a bit, but I can see where the trend then pivoted from there. Is this her fault? No, of course not. This is just, hey, I'm eating girl dinner. And there have been times where I've had leftover birthday cake for girl dinner, okay? There are times where I've had, you guys know Trader Joe's? They're like, uh, they're, they're molten lava cakes. Those things, great, delicious girl dinner. But I've been seeing the trend of girl dinner where it was things like that. Like here's my hodgepodge of food that I've made where it's like just a plate full of different foods, whether it's plates full of leftovers, plates full of um, snack foods, leftover cereal, things like that, you know, whatever. That's what I was seeing. I was seeing like the, hey guys, girl dinner. And then at some point after this, I saw, I believe it was from The Cut, but I can't find it. I saw the article linked on Twitter and I did not read it because I was like, that is not girl dinner. That's not what girl dinner stands for. Basically it was an article being like, uh, let's talk about girl dinner. And it was talking, it specifically used the word aesthetic food trend in the title. And I said, no, I'm not clicking that because that's not the point of girl dinner. It's not supposed to be aesthetic. The point is that it's chaotic. That's the point. It's not aesthetic. It's just 
food. Before I go further into um, the discussion about some of the disordered eating conversations happening around girl dinner, I want to make it very clear as well that I have dealt with disordered eating, but my disordered eating has never really been restriction. My disordered eating has always been binge eating, okay? And on occasion, I straight up forget to eat. It's I get busy, I get hyper-focused on what I'm doing, and then I just forget to eat and suddenly it's one in the morning, you know, like that's it. But I am also firmly in the camp that eating something is always going to be better than eating nothing. Eating a donut for breakfast is better than skipping breakfast. And that goes with any, in my opinion, for any form of diet culture, healthy eating culture, anything like that. I personally think getting your meals in in the day is more important than only eating the perfect healthy meals constantly, okay? Eating something is better than eating nothing. I recently had someone tell me that this it makes them incredibly mad. If you know how to turn it off, tell me. I don't know how to turn it off. The, the going dark, I can't figure it out. I don't know, but I mean it. I, I'm firmly in the camp that eating something is better than eating nothing. And so with the disordered eating discussion that this has moved into with people, instead of showing like, here's the random things that I ate for girl dinner and the hodgepodge of food that I've eaten, it became seemingly a trend as well of some people sharing how little they eat for dinner. In one instance, someone shared that they just ate like a container of corn for dinner. Um, someone sharing that they only ate lettuce, a very small portion of soup in one instance and things like that. And while I can understand the concern of like glamorizing disordered eating and like malnutrition and no nutrition necessarily, if they're eating, I don't know, this might be hard for me to understand, um, but I'm just, it, there. It's, it's something. Is it so far-fetched to think that the girl dinner trend may have possibly led someone who maybe would have skipped dinner to instead eat something because I can eat this and then I can post girl dinner and it's like a fun thing that I ate. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's me being naive about um, certain eating disorders and things like that. But I am firmly in the camp of eating something is better than eating nothing. And yeah, if there's an out, if there's a day where I'm just going, 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 and maybe my appetite's all over the place because I'm stressed, my anxiety's too high, whatever. If I eat just like a bowl of Cheerios without any milk in it, like that's better than eating nothing before going to bed. That's just personally how I approach it. But let me talk about some of these articles because originally I was gonna brush off all these articles, but I wanna talk about some of them. This is from Yahoo Life written by Carrie Justich. The girl dinner trend has been accused of glorifying eating disorders. Its creator says it's a celebration of food. The girl dinner is suddenly everywhere and its creator is worrying that its original meaning has been misconstrued. The meal trend, which is essentially a single serving dinner made up of little bits of different food like cheese, bread, an assortment assortment of meat, vegetables, fruits, or whatever a person might be craving originated on in a video by Olivia Marr posted on May 11th. Now the 28 year old's original video has 1.3 million views while inspiring countless recreations under the hashtag girl dinner and even a musical jingle by another creator. It's been used in over 23,000 TikTok videos. While her original video characterizing her spread of cheeses, bread, grapes, and cornet, cornet cons, is that his hit? Girl dinner wasn't good fun. Mara has seen how the trend has gotten carried away by those who are enjoying it and others who are critiquing it as a bridge to dangerous eating habits. I totally hear where people are coming from, she says, but she stands by her creation as one that comes from a love of food. No, not a way to glamorize restriction. Instead, she says girl dinner is about a celebration of food and appreciation and excitement because you're eating exactly what you want and you're satisfying all the flavors you're craving. See, that's what I think of it as. Like, yeah, sometimes I'm like, I want chocolate, but also I have zucchini in my fridge. Things like that, that's what I consider it as. But just because I consider it as one thing does not mean that it has been construed as something else. Two things can be true at the same time. That's a fit, a, apparently been the motto for 2023, unfortunately. Being alone is part of the experience. I think this is also where maybe it's become an issue as well. Because personally, I live alone, okay? Obviously, all of my girl dinners technically are girl dinners because I'm eating most of them alone, aside from Hermes. But Hermes is a girly girl when not a boy. You know what I'm saying? Technically, all my dinners are girl dinners because I'm just eating chaotically because I can. But something about it is... Like here, the origins of the trend for the Yahoo Life article, being alone is part of the experience, Mara explains. Noting that the snack plate variation is what she'll eat when her boyfriend is out of the house in an effort to save time on preparing dinner. I don't need to make meat and vegetables or and starch or whatever. I'm not gonna go get something big. She says, I'm gonna just like eat whatever I can find, like hunt and gather from my own kitchen. Yes, and I think that that's 
good though, right? I need to stop using the word good and bad and things like that because that's not the point of this. Further down the article, it talks about why the controversy. It can be a bit worrying in that are we saying this is girl dinner because all of these messages that we have about women needing to watch what they eat and be super, super particular and maybe really controlled and portioned around what they're eating. Is this a way to be more permissive around certain foods or is it another way to be super hyper vigilant about what you're eating and have a really small amounts of things, O'Malley points out. Small portions displayed in some of the girls that are circulating the internet are the ones forcing the most scrutiny. As one creator says, the trend has led to people to glorify eating disorders. And while there are a handful of examples of satire, it's important to recognize how different individuals are being affected by the content because of diet culture. So many of these things can easily go one way or the other. Relationships with food are so individual and so personal. While media and social media is so not personal, O'Malley explains, when you get these glimpses into people's eating, it can easily be inspiring and exciting to find more creative ways to explore different foods or try a new meal or try a new recipe or try a new way of cooking something. It's just as easy for it to have this feeling of like, oh, what this person doing is better or I'm comparing myself to them or I'm comparing my body to them. And I think that comes from both someone's own experiences and relationship with their body and food. And it also comes from diet culture and all these other influences. We don't know how it lands with each person. Person. And I think that's what most things come down to with the internet though, more than anything. Like I can't always predict how a video that I make or an Instagram photo I post or whatever is going to affect another person because I'm one person. You know what I'm saying? Same with this trend. Like when she posted her medieval peasant girl dinner, she didn't think about how maybe someone's going to think about like, oh, this victim. Victoria's Secret Supermodel also ate girl dinner and I want to look like her, so I'm going to do that, you know? So it's like, I don't think that vilifying the whole trend is the response though. And that might be my naivete as far as that goes, you know? That might be that because it's like, I can't control everything. They can't control everything. TikTok can't control everything. I can barely control Hermes, you know? I can't control how you respond to this video. I don't think vilifying the whole trend is the response to that. Um, Mars says she didn't, doesn't mean any harm. Instead of encouraging food restriction, Mars says the girl dinner is about eating what you need. She emphasizes that it's an individual experience that meant to make people feel giddy over their meals rather than unsatisfied or bound by the perceived rules of diet culture. Ultimately, she encourages viewers to remember that the one meal someone might share on TikTok is not indicative of their overall eating habits. Yeah, and I think that's important as well. The girl who posted herself eating corn, just corn for dinner, like, did she actually eat something else? Did she make the girl dinner just her eating corn because she knew that that was going to get a reaction from the internet? Did she do it because she thought it was funny? You know, like, did she then go and eat like a grilled cheese sandwich and, you know, some green beans? Who knows? But like this one video to say that this one video or several handfuls of video, whatever, is indicative of an entire trend. And that therefore the entire trend should be vilified. I don't think is accurate, I guess is the word. Popeye's also made a girl dinner thing. Oh, this article is from Fox Business, by the way. So some people were criticizing Popeye's girl dinner, but basically Popeye's girl dinner is kind of like how I do girl lunch, which is basically, it's a bunch of sides. That's how I view girl dinner. Girl lunch, it's just like a lot of mismatch of things. We're like, this is just, you just don't have protein in this, I don't think, which like some people just don't. I'm so confused, it's all just sides, no, another row. It's girl dinner, Popeye's replied adding a winky face <laughs> that does ruin it that, that does ruin it that you did it that's it that's what ruined it for me so it's two biscuits i think coleslaw rice and beans gravy and mashed potatoes and then fries so i guess that's kind of how i view grilled dinner i don't know where popeyes falls into the tiktok social media trend cycle because like if denny's had did this it would be dead already like denny's was the the harbinger of doom, the mothman of trends for Tumblr. Uh, the moment Denny's got involved, you'd know that the trend was dead. So I don't know where Popeye's falls in that, you know, ecosystem of the trend cycle for TikTok just yet. Um, but I mean, this was a few days ago now that they did this, like a week or so ago, actually. So, I mean, it's still happening. People are I'm still getting girls in our things. Um, there's also the girls in our filter, which I did not discuss. Here's a different version discussion of it. This is from bonappetit.com. Chill, girls dinner is literally just a snack plate by Ali Francis. If you've logged on recently, you've probably seen the TikTok craze machine's latest creation, girl dinner or snack plates for one. Yes, the internet has decided to rebrand my solonites eating fruit nuts and honey drizzled hunks of feta off my stomach while eating, while watching, <laughs> eating, watching Gossip Girl reruns. 
The term has snowballed so out of control online that it's putting a major dampener on the IRL activity. Unfortunately, the trendification of Girls' Dinner and the various controversies that have followed it have ruined a good thing. Basically, any assemblage of food intended to be a full meal can be Girls' Dinner. The deluge of discourse started when showrunner's assistant Olivia Marr posted a video back in May showing the virtues of her mismatch of cheeses and breads, sparking a slew of riffs. There's a lineup of bagel, crackers, pickles, salami slices, guacamole, and strawberries, a couple of ham and cheese stuffed tortillas with a glass of what looks to be Nesquik and a very aesthetic plate of cherry tomatoes, olives, prosciutto, burrata, and plums under a shiny slick of olive oil. On TikTok alone, the trend has amassed 212 million views up from 30 million just 10 days ago. We're embracing low effort over overexertion. Creator Alana Laverti, who regularly shares her girl dinners online, told Dazed, who has time for an eight to 10 hour work day to follow a 25 step recipe that inquires 20 ingredients. Not me. As one commenter wrote, girl dinner is free willing and indulgent, something a culinary bacchanalia at face value. Girl dinner is a delightful way to nosh. It's a perfect for the summer heat, no cooking, little cleanup and the ideal for the end of the day when you're too exhausted to not eat foods that feel like a treat. My colleague, Sam stone wrote about the trend. But like any virtual movement, scale attracts scrutiny. In the weeks since Mars' original post started doing the rounds, the internet has been trying to determine whether girl dinners are something to embrace or reject. Things are very serious online. As we've witnessed time and time again, please see example A, butterboards, and example B, mouse moments. Once a thing is given a name, the thing becomes an object of controversy. It needs to be said, there's nothing new about the format. A British chef, Nigelia Lawson, has pointed out girl dinners are really just picky bits. Other creators have written entire cookbooks dedicated to the concept. While we'll see girl dinner hiding in plain sight on restaurant menus around the country, Jupiter in New York serves a bowl of cherries for dessert, and Botanica in Los Angeles features a bunch of dips and snacky small plates. In it's charcuterie. It's similar to the bento-like plates, a combo of bite-sized carrot medallions, cheddar cubes, grapes, and almonds that my mom whipped up after school. Hell, it's basically tapas, a style of eating the whole ass country of Spain already got behind. Some see the trend as pushed back on diet culture and a solid advertisement for intuitive eating. Many of the videos posted primarily by women, show them eating whatever they feel like. Others have said that some of the meals, such as the clearly satirical cigarette and a cup of tea, and the more er, sparse plates floating around online promote disordered eating. It's an argument, unfortunately, reinforced by the chosen nomenclature girls, after all, are most at risk of developing unhealthy eating disorders, unhealthy relationships with food. Others have a problem with gendering any way of eating. That's just a divorced dad dinner on a plate, tweeted one user. As someone who has had the divorced dad dinner... I've had Burger King for Christmas Eve dinner. I've had that. That's, that's, that's divorce kid culture. You know, don't, don't mock my phone. <laughs> Sorry. I'm being an asshole now. Okay. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to link the articles that I talked about. There's a few others that I'll probably link because some of them do have, uh, good points as well as ones that I think I'm like, mm, I don't think it's that deep, but I'm, I'm listening, you know, um, why TikTok girl dinner trends is giving dietitians a pinch of pause from well and good. The New York Times is it a meal? Is it a snack? No, it's girl dinner. What is girl dinner and can TikTok? They're all yelling at me for using an ad blocker right now. So thanks. But basically that's from CBS News. So I'll link these down below. My opinion, again, I think eating something is better than eating nothing in my opinion. And just because someone posts one meal or one video to a trending sound on TikTok is not a um, encapsulation of their entire diet, in my opinion. And I've talked about disordered eating and other trends on uh, social media as well, because like, for example, the gut health movement and things like that on TikTok, I think that that is thinly veiled disordered eating. I think something like this can very easily be turned into a crutch, an excuse, a uh, no, I'm not uh, not eating. This is girl dinner, you know. But I also think that like Mm, I don't think that the, the phrase girl dinner in itself is inherently harmful, in my opinion. I can understand having an issue with just gendering a type of eating at all. I can totally understand that. But also, I think that there's like worse things to call this. I mean, honestly, I think calling this peasant dinner would probably be even worse, you know, than girl dinner. Peasant dinner. Peasant dinner. It doesn't have the same effect. I don't know. I don't have a problem with being a girl. You know, I don't have a problem with saying that things are girl stuff. And I'm assuming there's a lot of people that feel that way as well. And if you are taking that as some form of turf statement, go fuck yourself. I will block turfs on site. Anyone can have girl dinner. That's kind of the point. I think that things can be interpreted any number of ways on the internet. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, is this good or bad? It's logical to have concerns. And I also think personally, 
I don't have a problem with Pearl Dinner. I know this isn't really an ending. It's just kind of like a, here you go. I've explained this to you. Take it as you will. Um, maybe you disagree with me, though. Maybe you do think that the entirety of the concept of Pearl Dinner of, or even just the concept of eating anything is better than eating nothing is inherently harmful. If you disagree with me, feel free to literally let me know. Tell me. Let me know. Have you seen Girl Dinner? Have you posted about Girl Dinner? What do you think about the Girl Dinner song? Have you had Girl Dinner this week? Let me know. Comment down below. Reminder, I have a podcast, a social hands podcast. Reminder that Swell Entertainment is now available on Spotify the day after posting. This will be available tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you also explore me on Patreon, love us down below. If you'd like to follow me on social media, that'll be up here. And that's going to be a couple of the day. Goodbye. All right, let's see. What is my girl dinner officially? Okay, cold leftovers. Yep, been consistent with that. Fries? Do I want fries? Raspberries. Not bad. Thank you, Amy, Andrew, Allen, Awful, Aslan, BJ, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Crispy, Crispy, Crash, Ryan and Corey, Daniela, Dirty One, Don, Donnie, Elliot, Evan, Eric, Eyal, Ghostly, Hopeless, Homework, Jay, Incognito, Jasmine, Joe, John M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kim, Kristen, Lauren, Lamb, Leah, Lex, Louisa, Luis, May West, Madeline, Matt, Matthew S, Mumor, Medic, Michael, Michael J, Michael T, Micah, Nathan, Hat, Pen, Pink, Philip, Richard, Rob, Rosie, Red, Robert, Ross, Ryan, Sam, Serena, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Heavenly, Plastic, Tyler, Tenzin, Tom, Thomas, Querty, Victor, Randy, Winter, Will, Wendy, William, Zendry, Zwing.